warm welcome to all of you. Once again, we welcome you to our live program of CIT and CRT on Swayam Prabha channel. I am Sabila Rashid and today we have Dr. Shweta Uppal with us, who is the chief editor of NCERT. Namaskar. Ma'am, we welcome to your show. Thank you. Dr. Shweta Uppal has been working with the council for almost 20 years now and has been responsible for the advent of the new textbook for both National Curriculum Framework of 2000 and 2005. Ma'am, would you like to share with us about the process of such a huge task? Oh, you give me a big task. Normally, people uh, know NCERT uh, by the, its textbooks. Right. But that's not the only thing NCRT does. I would like to first share with you that though uh, mainly we are into teacher education and making textbooks, curriculum and syllabus, but we also do lots of other children's books. We have recently started making vocational textbooks for mm -hmm. children from 9th to 12th classes. We have uh, uh, almost 20 four or 22 issues of journals every year. So just imagine that in the 365 days of a year, we are doing 314 titles of textbooks from classes 1 to 12th in three languages, English, Hindi and Urdu. Uh, we are doing journals both in English and Hindi. Uh, we are doing teachers handbooks, vocational textbooks and uh, reference material. We have recently made a triangle, a trilingual dictionary in social sciences, in history, we are making more. So all this huge task is done by, I should say the entire council, but of course it is conceived at the curriculum stage itself. Once the curriculum has been decided, the syllabus has been made, there are 17 or 18 subject departments in the council uh, where all the professors, associate professors, they get together and they decide how a book has to be made. They form teams, they invite experts from universities, colleges, teachers, even sometimes take feedback from students and then they sit and form a manuscript. A manuscript looks like actually this. This number of pages and it just looks like this. You know, but it will be like about 200 pages or 300 pages. Once they have fixed the material, they send it to the publication division. The publication division is uh, divided into three wings. Uh, the editorial wing, which is the first step of making a textbook, making those ideas that manuscript change into a textbook. Uh, they go through an entire long process of, uh, can we have the processing slide please? Sure. Uh, they have uh, an entire process from manuscript, then there, is, there are copy editors, there are proofreaders, there are designers, there are illustrators, uh, all of them go back and forth. Uh, several times before finalizing a book because we do understand that uh, NCRT, uh, the textbook that is made by NCRT is kind of almost a bible for a student. So we need it to be absolutely correct. So I am going to take you through the, uh, the exact steps of how a manuscript is changed to a textbook. First, the textbook would come, it will be given to an editor. The editor reads the content of it, even though the authors are really highly uh, placed people and experts in their fields, it is the editor who sees whether they have, there are repetitions, where there is jargon, where there is need to reform a sentence to the level of the child, if the child is in ninth class, if the child is in sixth class. The language is uh, different for each class, even if you're uh, even if you're teaching the same concept. Um, so the designer also, uh, the sorry, the editor also um, liaisons with the designer and the proofreader. Most of the time, people I've heard that people say, 
जो प्रूफ रीडिंग कर रहा है वो एडिटिंग भी कर लेगा या जो एडिटिंग कर रहा है वो प्रूफ रीडिंग भी कर लेगा सो आर दिस टू डिफरेंट लाइक प्रूफ रीडिंग एंड एडिटिंग ओ वेरी मच सो आई आई वाज जस्ट अबाउट टू से दैट सम टाइम्स द द पीपल हु आर गुड एट पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेज दे से एडिटिंग में क्या है हम कर ही लेते हैं हम yeah. भी कर लेंगे हमें भी इतनी उर्दू आती है या हमें भी इतनी हिंदी आती है दैट्स नॉट द पॉइंट प्रूफ रीडर का काम सिर्फ और सिर्फ स्पेलिंग्स चेक करना है और किताब में हर हेडिंग हर लेवल हर यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ डिज़ाइन चेक करना है एंड स्पेलिंग्स एडिटर लुक्स एट द एक्चुअल कॉपी द कॉन्टेंट द लैंग्वेज द कॉन्टेंट एंड रेपिटेशंस समटाइम्स वी इवन कम अक्रॉस सम सम थिंग्स विच आर विच कैन हर्ट द सेंटिमेंट्स ऑफ सर्टन सेक्शन ऑफ द पीपल because we have a big country and we are With our usp yes and, yeah. our usp is yeah. diversity right. and ncrt takes into uh, it makes sure that all the regions have uh, all the regions are i mean the the requirements of all the regions of the country are met yeah. uh, so the editor does only language editing the proofreader does only spell check and uniformity maintains the uniformity of style of fonts sees to it that uh, the continuation of the finger numbers the continuation of uh, of um, items are not missing or are not repeated and are correct so we have different editors for different subjects or like same editor for all the subjects uh the very good question actually it's a very good question um the publication division in ncrt has language editors they need not be experts in particular subjects like history or science or math but since they all are qualified and graduates Thanks. so obviously and some of them are even masters and doctorates uh, in the publication division so they have their own subject areas which they are very fond of however their basic skill needs to be a uh, language a very strong language and technicalities of editing which now i often say this in most of my workshops or in most of my places where i speak i say this that anybody who knows the language is not necessarily an editor but an editor would always know his language well right. so anyway uh, there is this point of uh, when do we have illustrations uh, before i start on when do we have illustrations i need to tell you that you know a 200 page book would take at least 20 days for editing and proofreading which might or might not involve uh, liaisoning with the illustrator there are there are different illustrators who are taken into uh, into the streamline of making the book at the stage of say the second draft of the uh, writing part so that okay. he also understands or she also understands okay. that what is the uh, what is the educational value of their illustrations and design uh you asked me that uh, what are the changes that i saw in the curriculum framework 2000 and 2005 i was lucky enough to uh, have joined here when we were just starting to change the textbooks for the curriculum in 2000 uh till 2000 i remember i had um, uh, myself studied from ncrt books and the books were quite single color a uh, black and white a little dreary even though the content was very strong but they were a little dreary and they were mostly teacher centric hmm. in 2000 we changed all of that and uh, uh, we changed it into a very beautiful looking books we had full multi color books we had uh, good paper we we changed the binding of it we did all of that hmm. in 2005 we went a step further we made the books very interactive uh they were in 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 the upper primary uh, section books we had uh, uh, you know small we had lots of space so we had small cartoon characters given in it even the uh, even the higher secondary and secondary class books 
uh, started having lots and lots of uh, other fun fact material in it, so that the children knew um, that they could you know ask questions, they were freer to write answers which are open ending answers. Right. So, those were the changes that we made in uh, 2005 curriculum. In the looks of the books, the books became very, very attractive. In fact, sometimes we felt that we should go back to our childhood and start studying again. Right. Uh, Dr. Shweta, as you have mentioned that how the uh, NCRT textbook gone and the changes after 2000 and 2005. Now, we have viewers uh, with us and one of the viewers, Rajiv Ranjan has asked that what points should be considered by the students about NCRT textbook in comparison with other publication? Uh, that is another very good question, Rajiv. Um, one. Uh, the pricing of the book. The pricing of the book is much, much lower than any compared to any other publisher. I would like to say that perhaps. Uh, if a book from uh, classes 1 to 8, we have books and we have a price of just 55 rupees, whether it is a 200 page book or a 100 page book, it is lower than the production cost of it. No other publisher would give you uh, such low prices. Our paper quality might not be the best, but it is averagely very good. It is printed on 80 GSM map litho paper, which does not absorb ink badly. It does not uh, flow the ink. So, we have a standard of that. Another thing is that uh, just to check uh, the content and the strength of the content. NCRT textbooks are known even for preparing for your civil services examinations. Right. So, even the private publishers would perhaps write based on NCRT textbook or NCRT curriculum and send you those kind of, sell you those kind of books. But yes, the strength of the content and the looks and the pricing is kind of unmatched. That is the strength of NCRT textbooks. Yes. So, when we are talking about textbooks, I remember in my childhood whenever I used to buy new book, there is a warm welcoming feeling of the smell of the book. Since you were talking about the printing, can you elaborate that process? Yes, because we just thought of, we just talked about editing. After once the book is finalized and uh, the editor and the author have uh, discussed the points that need to go out and that need to remain and the book is totally finalized and fixed, the book goes to the production. Uh, the production does this, brings this warm feeling, the smell that you are talking about. Uh, the freshness of the paper, the print that is the ink and the binding together makes the book feel warm and welcoming in your hands. And that love for books has brought me here to NCRT. <laughs> wow, <laughs> lovely. Uh, Dr. Shweta, uh, since you mentioned about the manuscript, like uh, manuscript is just like this document and that has been submitted to the publication division and then it is enhanced and then it is proofread, edited and then it is published and then binded together. So, uh, I am talking about the content when there is a difference between opinion like a uh, author has written something and as editor you want to change it. So, who wins? Like <laughs> How is this tackled? Okay, um, it is a nice question and we very often get into a lot of arguments and discussions over this. However, there is no winning case, there is a correct case. Right. So, the author would perhaps tell us, no, this is why they want, they give us their logics of why they wanted to write what they wanted to write and we would perhaps give them the logics, no, but this might hurt the sentiments of say south of India right. or say northeast or say you have used the word, um, you have used the word use proper sense. So, what is proper? What is proper for um, uh, for the north, northeast region might not be proper for the south. Right. So, we try and come to a consensus together because both of us, both the parties are working in the favor of the child and the favor of the textbook, in the favor of the next citizen of the country. So, we have our target as one and yes, then we work yes, towards it. Yes. Right. So, um, so uh, who makes the photos and illustrations? If you are talking about that, if I submit a manuscript, do I as an author need to make it or is it the responsibility of the publication division? Both. 
Uh, I normally give an example of the Spider-Man here because uh, the Spider-Man needs a web. So, you know what happens is publication division as the moment the manuscript is received by the publication division, it kind of becomes the Spider-Man. It, it, it has all these web all, uh, you know, to the, it's everything is happening simultaneously to the illustrator, to the author. Google search these days <laughs> to the printer, the production, see what happens. The moment the books, book is started to be written, uh, we are already thinking of who, which is the designer that will be fit this, because all designers and illustrators have their own styles. So, we choose a designer according to the level of the book, hmm. the level of the child. If there are photographers, the photographs. So, we go to the archives, we go to the libraries. So, when I say we, it is both the author and the publication right. division actually. They all have to work together. Hmm. Meanwhile, the production is procuring the paper. So, it is simultaneously it's going a, it's on. It is simultaneously going on. Making a book is almost like, um, um, almost like bringing up a child. <laughs> so, you have to take care of all the dimensions. You have to take care of all. Somebody has just conceived and then the doctor brings them out. So, the editorial wing is just polishing it and the, and, and, and the production is actually bringing out a healthy child and then the child is given to the parents by the sales wing and the parents being the children. So, when we talk about NCRT publication division particularly, so there are many subjects and many textbooks. So, like since you are the chief editor there, so can you please explain us because we are very intrigued that how do you publish it finally, like simultaneously everybody is working on individual book or you have different set of team for different subjects, how do you work? Yes, we have different teams. We have, I, I mentioned earlier, we have about 17 to 18 departments, subject departments in NCRT. They all are making their own books and all of it comes to the editorial wing, the publication division and uh, even though short of stuff, you try and manage, people are doing different things at the different times and there is kind of, it looks like chaos, but it is an organized chaos. So, in this chaos, I mean, I have cousins back in my hometown and they often complain that there is some mistake in NCRT textbook. So, who takes the responsibility, like wh whom should they, uh, should they contact if they find some misprint or some uh, conceptual error in the textbook? We have on our website, uh, that is an extremely good question and often asked actually. Uh, children, uh, students write letters, teachers write letters to uh, sometimes directly to the publication division because the addresses are all over the place. It is an ncrt.nic.in. They can, uh, supposing it's a, it's, it's a factual error in mathematics book of a certain class, they could just write to the head of the department, uh, science and mathematics and write the NCRT address, the letter will reach there. And if uh, the misprint or the fact is uh, correct or correctly pointed out, we do make changes in the reprint editions. That is why reprint editions are there every year. We update them, we correct them, we bring the new technology in it and do that. So, talking about the new technology, uh, I mean, we have heard about the uh, digital textbook and the book reader. So, is NCRT working towards it, I mean, adopting the new technology? I would say not the book reader, but yes, what we are doing from this year, even though we have not changed our textbooks entirely, we have made a number of changes. Um, uh, and uh, these, this year though these books are going to be quite energized. Now, let me tell you what energized books are. We have placed in every uh, book, uh, the chapters, we have placed something called a QR code. Most of the children would be aware of this illustration. Uh, this looks like an illustration, but it is a digitally uh, made code. It has it has these four co uh, four numbers here, four digits or whatever. That is also a code which you can access through your smartphones. Most of the families these days would have a smartphone. In fact, India is one of the largest users right. of internet and soft smartphones. So, thinking this, uh, we decided that every book must have this, every chapter must have this. What happens is, if you place your phone on it and you scan it, I will just show you in a moment. 
you scan this, it will take you to a link of NCRT's e Shala and then there will be several links. Uh, let me be more specific. Supposing you are reading a book on ICT or mathematics and you want to learn vectors. So, you do, you do understand what is written in the book, but you want to have more knowledge about it some supplementary knowledge about it to add to it. So, you scan this code and our professors, our people would have put different links on it. It could be a YouTube link, it could be a PDF file, it could be just a document, it could be some somebody audio explaining or audio or video and uh, they would uh, and then you could just open that and just see it. Let me uh, demonstrate this for you. This is a smartphone. Uh, I just go to the scanner on it. Most of the smartphones would have scanners, otherwise you could download a QR code scanner. You press the scanner, you scan the thing, a link will come up. It will redirect you to it e will re ha, It will redirect you to e A link will come up and you could just play See, there is a, there, there's a YouTube there, there are chapters. Yes, so it will, the link will redirect you to this page. Yes. And, and uh, then suppose we have taken a class 11th mathematics textbook. Yes. So, it will show you all the chapters and the topics that we have. Yeah. So, you could press on one of them. Right. Suppose uh, somebody wants to study sets. Yes. So, we will go on sets and read document. So yeah, you could read this. Or, or you could press the video and you could play the video. So, so where would these be placed? Uh, I am going to show you one book in which every, a book will have one QR code hmm. over here, which will download the PDF of the entire book. Other QR codes would be placed on the chapter, every chapter will have one and it will be here. So, if this chapter is understanding the self, so if you scan the QR code from here, uh, you will be taken to different videos, different uh, uh, PDFs of this uh, and you could uh, reach that. Now, the question is that maybe, uh, maybe somebody does not have a smartphone. So, what does that person do? There is, we have made a provision for that also. If you have, all schools have computer labs, you could go on your PC and there is a code given here. So, you go to e Shala and then you uh, type this code and the same links will come up. So, the QR codes are not only for uh, the smartphone owners, but also for the PC owners and wherever the PC is available, a so desktop like is available. So, like every individual chapter will have a unique code with it. Yes. And the student can go to the uh, laptop or the yeah, system. Yeah, go and to then e and then just And then put that. the uh, yes. code in yes. it. Yes, yes. Okay. Right. Uh, so, we have another question for one of the viewers, it is Rajiv Ranjan again and he has asked that uh, CBSE has made it mandatory uh, to have uh, NCRT textbooks. So, uh, what is the actual reason for doing it? So, that the children all over the country can read the same kind of text and have, uh, have the same understanding of the country basically. Uh, to have a uniformity? To have a unif uniformity, this similar understanding. See, uh, I, I, I mentioned earlier that the country is very diverse. NCRT books are one of those books which cater to the needs of all the regions of the, of the, of the country, of the nation. Hmm. So, CBSE to standardize the education so that the aims and goals of the curriculum are met by everybody in all regions has perhaps done this. Right. Um, since uh, we are going live on our channel, uh, one question that I would like to ask you particularly, like if a child is watching this or a, say a teenager is watching this and he or she wants to be editor or an author in future, what suggestion would you like to give to them? Go on, right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, jo bhi dil mein aaye, wo likh lo. 
एक डायरी मेंटेन कर लो और उस डायरी में जो भी कुछ मिले वो लिख लो और कभी ना कभी आजकल तो आजकल के बच्चे तो शायद बहुत फॉर्चुनेट है बिकॉज देर इज दिस थिंग ऑफ सेल्फ पब्लिशिंग यू कुड एक्चुअली गो एंड गेट योर सेल्फ सेल्फ पब्लिश हायर अ नाइस एडिटर राइट योर बुक हैव अ थीम हायर अ वेरी नाइस एडिटर एंड जस्ट गो ऑन एंड गेट योर बुक पब्लिश सो वुड यू लाइक टू गिव दैम सम एग्जाम्पल कि जहाँ पे कोई डायरी ऐसे किसी ने कभी लिखी हो और वो एक किताब में छपी हो वैसे तो बहुत सारी हैं बट मेरे को समथिंग दैट हैज दैट एक्चुअली आई रिसेंटली वॉज ऑन अ टूअर एंड विजिटेड अ लॉट ऑफ होलो कास्ट सो आई रिमेंबर एन फ्रेंक्स डायरी एन फ्रेंक वॉज अ चाइल्ड ऑफ फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड शी यूज टू मेंटेन अ डायरी शी मेंटेन अ डायरी फॉर टू ईयर्स वेल दे वर इन हाइडिंग समवे आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू द वर्ल्ड वॉर Uh, yes, the yes, World yes. Hmm. So, and uh, her father later on, he was the only survivor out of the family, and uh, her father later on uh, published that, which actually gave accounts, actual accounts of how people were treated during that time. So maybe you all can keep an account of your life and write your diary. Right, and and how is editor different from the author? so if if somebody wants to become i an very editor, strongly so. believe uh, people believe that uh, an editor can also write very well not always i would say an editor could perhaps make your language crisp uh, it can bring it to the table but uh, uh, maybe he can write maybe he can author a book but i would say that not all authors can be editors <laughs> <laughs> i would repeat that i take that very seriously about NCERT. Yes. So you believe that. So, so what are there any specific courses that they have to go through? Oh yeah, that's another nice question. So uh, we have, uh, when I say we in India, we have several courses in book publishing. Not several, a couple of them, but most of them are uh, journalism and mass communication courses. The editing for book is uh, very different. Uh, from editing in the newspapers or for the media so perhaps we should start a very focused uh, editorial course so that children learn or some students may want to opt to go into publishing and printing and they should opt to do just this editorial book course Right, uh, Dr. Shweta, it was really pleasant to talk to you in in our conversation if we have missed something and you would like to add uh not very much there is actually my entire life revolves around uh, ncert and its books i would like to just share a few just make uh, some samples i have brought with me to show people that how we only not make textbooks but other awareness books which children can actually take there are these disaster management books that i have brought earthquake food poisoning tsunami these are in english they might be made in hindi very soon then we have uh, vocational training books this is uh, domestic data entry operator book but there are several others which i would say uh, we have different vocational uh, books in different sectors agriculture uh, embroidery plumber floriculturist then we have uh, we have these beautiful books i mean i just remembered the illustrations and the thing this is the history book class 12th children would recognize this i still remember how beautifully we were coordinating with the designer and having fights every day actually uh, but that's what goes into it you criticize an editor criticizes while making a book but only towards uh, making the book perfect near perfect if yes. not perfect right if not perfect thank then you so near much. perfect yes thank you it was really pleasant to uh, to have you on our show and to know what actually publishing is all about so if you have any question or any query you can call us on our toll free number as well as we have our email id uh, we are showing you the email id that is ciet.kishormanj@gmail.com and you can also call us on our toll free number that is 18001121999 another number is 18001112 5 this is all for today tomorrow we'll come up with another topic and another expert thank you so much for being with us see you tomorrow thank you so much